know Cuomo's got to go. This is my thing. I'm like, why are you even... We all can agree on that, you know? Oh, we got to do some, some rehab today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hold the line. You, but I hear you saying that you have our backs. I've never seen you before. Who, who, who are you? I'm the president of Blue Lives Matter. Oh, you're the president of Blue Lives Matter. Yeah. But, oh. however, okay. There's always a however. No. Honestly. It's a good however. Right. No. It's a good however. Yeah. I'm however, she's not You know what I mean? I've got the racist system! No good cops in 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 the racist system! But the biggest threat is how many people will die if say communists took over? Now, I'm not necessarily saying that I think communists are going to take over. I'm just saying let this ideology. Uh, we are out here to protest against the plan to abolish the Ithaca Police Department and replace it with a community and public safety uh, organization, which would not be led by a professional police chief, but be led by a civilian executive director, which would greatly reduce the number of armed officers which would be patrolling in the country. Abolishing the police and what's happening. They didn't even read the proposition. The police were not abolished. My flat out said that every one of those cops were keeping their positions and their titles. So everything he's saying right now is actually misinformation. At this point, yeah, they think the police help. We can't argue with them because at this point, we know the police don't help. They don't actively have to live it every day, so they don't understand even the semantics of it. They don't ever have to encounter this. So what they're here for is holding their white supremacy. This is nothing more than upholding white supremacy. Because without the police, they won't have anybody to protect them when they go out and do shit. That's the whole counter. I think that there's a degree of racism, uh, you know, within any group of large people. Whenever you have a whole bunch of people, you're going to have a whole bunch of different opinions. I don't believe that the police are systemically racist. I don't believe that the police are more racist than your average individual. And frankly, I think that a lot of the racism that you are seeing is coming from the anti-police activists who are often using a racist narrative of white privilege, a racist narrative of uh, intersectionality. Law and order is the prerequisite to a society which functions. Without law and order, you have a society run by the mob, which is the exact goal of these activists. If they get the police out of the way, they can enforce mob justice on those who they oppose. That would be all of us, that would be all of you. Something that we are seeing in, in cities like Seattle, cities like Portland, cities like Minneapolis, these activists want to get the cops out of the way so that they can come after you and your family. That is the end goal here. And because that's what this is all ultimately about, is trying to put together a coalition which will enable them to uh, implement a more socialist form of government more easily. At this point, from everything that I've understood from listening to the Common Council and the people that have commented on this, they just want to be able to have their creature comforts. They want to be able to stick to something, keep something that is from whatever old world they think is going to function, you know? Like, even if you think about the creation of the police, the police were created just to maintain slaves, like they were slavers to begin with. And that is the whole point. They police ghettos, like that is their whole structure. And even
More deaths by police officers than 9-11. All lives cannot matter until black lives matter. Have. It doesn't matter what All they say, we know what we're here for. Yeah. 